Okay, part two of my video here today. This is my recent video game pickups. I've also gotten quite a few video games lately. Um, more recent ones than older ones. There are still a couple older ones that I got. But let's see, which one will I start with here? Let's start with Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. I picked this up. As you can see, I got the Walmart edition. Oh boy. Uh, comes with actually the game itself. There we go. And a soundtrack CD, which is actually pretty cool. I beat the main story for this game, but not the BR missions and all that quite yet. But really dug the soundtrack to it, so I'm glad that they included that with this. Um, eventually, I'm going to go back to this game and get some better rankings on some of the missions and do more of the VR missions and things like that. But that's gonna be a while from now because I've got so much to play. Next up is God of War Ascension. I'm maybe about a third of the way through this. I have a problem with buying games and not finishing them and starting new ones that I've purchased and then going back to old ones and things like that. Love God of War. This one's hasn't been quite as good as God of War 3. I think God of War 3 was my favorite in the series. I'm starting to think this is a series that, as much as I love it, they just need to let it end. Um, I was actually talking with a friend of mine, and we thought it would be really cool if they got away from this mythology and went with a different type of myth mythology for this kind of game. It would be very cool, but... I am enjoying the game. I'll get to finishing it eventually. Next up, I've actually been playing this a little bit more today. Um, Tomb Raider. Never was a Tomb Raider fan. Never really cared about Tomb Raider or anything like this. Uh, I was pumped up about this game, though, just for the trailers and the everything else before the game came out. And I've got to say, it is an awesome action game. Um... Whenever it was first coming out, I thought there was going to be a little bit more exploring that you can do on the island. Not that I'm really disappointed or anything, because still the the gunplay and everything like that's fun. Actually, in this game, I barely even use the guns. I stick with the bow and arrow, because it's just so fun actually sneaking around and picking people off one by one with your bow. Uh, that I actually hope to beat here, hopefully this week. Next up, I got Bioshock Infinite. Loved the first Bioshock, which actually this comes with. So, I actually traded my original copy, uh, my copy of the original Bioshock in whenever I was short on cash for another game. So that's very cool that I got it again and I can play through it again. Um, Bioshock Infinite so far has been pretty good. I've played a little bit of it. A little underwhelmed by the graphics, especially for a PlayStation 3 game. It looks just like the first two Bioshocks, uh, only it's a little bit more glaring. You can actually tell the graphics aren't amazing because it's a lot brighter than the other games. A lot of it takes place outdoors. Uh, I will get to beating that eventually, but it's not top of my list. Next, I actually got both of these games together. Injustice Gods Among Us and Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Haven't even put this in my PlayStation 3 yet. It was just kind of like Oh, going to give me Mortal Kombat vs. DC for free with Injustice? Why not? But Injustice has been pretty fun. Not a big fighting game fan. I get bored with them fairly easily, fairly quickly. This, since I am a comic book fan, really appealed to me though. Especially the story mode. I haven't finished the story mode because I kind of want to drag it out because I know once I beat that I'm not going to be playing it too, too much after that. Um... Love all the characters. I like that the characters are very different. Each character has a very distinct play style, and some of them I'm just terrible with, but whenever you find that character that just clicks with you, it's it's awesome because you can really do some heavy damage whenever you find that character that just fits your play style perfectly. Those are all the more recent games that I've gotten. I did get three older games. Now the I'm just going to show these two off at the same time. I never played any past the first, but I do have the first and the second now on PlayStation Network. 
uh, and I picked up Disgaea 3, what's the subtitle? Absence of Justice, and Disgaea 4, A Promise Unforgotten. Loved the first Disgaea game for the PlayStation 2 whenever I played it on the PlayStation 2. My goal eventually is to play through all four of them again. I know the stories don't connect, but I'm one of those people that's kind of a completionist. If there's a series of games, I want to play through them all if I can. And I had some extra cash, so I got these used for GameStop. Can't quite remember how much they were since I tried peeling the stickers off of them because I don't like GameStop stickers on my cases. And the last game that I was able to pick up, I also bought, used at GameStop, was Atelier Meruru, which one is she? The Apprentice of Ireland, which is the third game in the Ireland saga for the Atelier games, or Atelier, however you pronounce it. Um, I've only played a little bit of each game just to try them out. It's one of those games, probably going to play through in the w winter or something like that, whenever it's just can sit, sit around with the heat on under a blanket and just play a nice calm RPG. But that's it. Um, as for games coming out that I'm looking forward to, I definitely cannot, cannot, cannot wait for The Last of Us, as probably many other people out there can't wait for this game. Um, the other game that I'm super excited for is Tales of Zillia. Uh, Next paycheck, I plan on stopping down at the local GameStop here and pre-ordering the Collector's Edition because it comes with the Milia figure. Can't wait to get that on in my hands. Um, my goal for that, though, I still haven't finished Tales of Grace as F. I want to kind of sweep another Tales game under the rug before I start a new one. Hopefully that can happen, but if not, I'm still super excited for Tales of Zillia. Um, that's about it for this video, though. Hopefully sometime next month I'll have another one. I know I'm going to keep doing the anime videos more frequently. Video games, not so much. This many video games at once is kind of a rarity for me. Most of these games I got whenever I got my tax return check-in. Um, but aside from that, I do pick up games here and there, so I'll do, vi do videos on those. Um, no promises though, especially with the games. Anime I will do more frequently because I tend to buy more anime than I do video games. But thanks for tuning in again, and I will see you all next time.